Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Dead step, man. Dead step. Oh yeah. All right. What's up, guys? Fear rising here. Playing some Code Veronica. I can't do intros after I do that. I have. To, I don't know. I'm just very against the whatever. All right. Heartbeat. To, heartbeat door. Whatever. Long. Longest ladder ever. All right. Um. There is a bunch of herbs here, but screw that. I'm not gonna do that. See, this is the ladder that that the eagle plate fell on, as you can tell, because my arms are flip flopping all over the place. All right, some of these herbs right here. There's two green herbs and a blue herb here. Um, I would say pass on the blue herb because I already have like four in my bottom box. That's what was making that noise or that sound. Oh, that makes sense now. Uh, okay. Now this is a giant albino. You can fight it if you want, but in all honesty, just run. Like, just get it and leave. Like, his his electrical attack does do a lot of damage, but you're fine. Just get get your item and get out. It takes a lot of damage to kill that thing, and there's no point even doing it. So just get it and leave. It, it can't even, it can't even climb out of the water, so there's no point to even fighting it, in all honesty. So, <laughs> I said we're gonna get the eagle plate. I like we got the eagle plate, safe. And then, 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 step it. All right. See, we already got the eagle plate. We're already almost done. I already have the halibird. Like, look it. Hold on. Check. See, that's the halibird. The gold part. Yeah. See if you combine it with this, boom, I have it. Kind of an anticlimactic section. You'd think it would make some kind of cutscene, like him pouring it on it, but. Live and let die. I don't know. Alright, so now the only thing we need to do still is just walk back to the save room and pick up anything we need in the way. Alright, go to basement floor one. We can also get the shotgun because it's that shortcut to the save room, which is nice. Like I said, this game really isn't. Like, Claire's Island section is the longest section in the game, straight up. Because there's so much to do in it, it's insane. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this right here, pick it up. Then I'm going to pick up this red herb right here and combine it. I already have enough green herbs in this game to last me the rest of the game. There's a green herb in that other room over there, I'm not going to get it though. There's like literally no point to getting it, like honestly. They, they give you so many healing items and, and HPs, stuff, what, um, that there's no need to even try and get it. Alright, there we go, boom. Now I'm gonna go finalize my inventory before I leave the island for good. Alright. And this is honestly the hardest part of the game, I think. In my honest opinion, I think Chris Island is the hardest part of the game. Because you die a lot here. Like the hunters, or there's a lot of there's a lot of hunters you fight, a lot of everything. How many shotgun shells do I have? Wow, 42. That's a lot for a Resident Evil game to have. And how, considering how much other stuff I have, is insanity. All right. Um, that's good for now. Keep this, and I'll keep this. All right, good. We're pretty much ready to take on the everything <laughs> at this point in the game. Alright, let's go. I have to use the halibut on this thing. No, I have to get closer. Stop it. There we go.
why is everybody an expert on flying a plane in this game? Claire, Claire can do it. Chris can do it. Steve can do it. Like, what the hell? Is that another plane? Is that a mirror? That's another plane, because I don't see myself. Must have been Alfred's plane. Uh, this is where I want to go. Emergency elevator, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is the door that Claire came through. Oh. Okay. It makes all sense now. Oh, God. What are those things? Um, shotgun, Desu? And these are Alexia tentacles, I guess you can call them. Freaking A, dude. Yeah, there's two of them you have to fight as Chris, and two of them you have to fight as Claire. Yes, we do play as Claire again, believe it or not. Go back in your hole. Thank you. Thank you, love you, bye. Okay. As you can see now, since the roof, for some reason, has collapsed, it is now snowing in here, which is not good. Because, I mean, he doesn't have any sleeves on. That would not be a good thing. But now that it's really cold in here, <laughs> those moths are dead, so yay. Even though I didn't get poisoned by them, it is really, really bad. Like, they're really annoying. But don't go in that doorway, because you can't go through that door anyway, because there was water and it froze over. But do zombies, the zombies do break through that grating. Oh, also, Halibur right here. Oh, ho, I'm clever. I, I played like I didn't know what I was talking about. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm a clever dick. All right, paperweight. Wouldn't think it's important, but it actually is. There's a file here. Alfred's diary. Okay, so that basically told us that. Oh, yeah, I'll take these. Put them in the item box or something. I'll put take these two for whatever reason. So basically, I was saying that Alexia conducted the T. Veronica virus experiment on her own body and her dad's body. That's why he's. That was their dad in the basement, by the way. The uh, Nosferatu. That was Alexander. Um, you can kind of tell in the beginning cutscene because he has like the uh, the thing on his ear. Is that his ear? Yeah, it's his ear. Okay, that's all. That's good. Um, but yeah, you can tell that because, you know, that, obviously. Sorry, I keep adjusting. Sorry. I've been recording ever since, like, episode 6. Like, episode 7 and on has been the same recording session. Because I am, I want to complete this game and get it done and move on to RE4 and, yeah, whatever. Alright. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, there, the, the whole point of this section is to get the three jewels. Which is Alexandra's jewel, Alfred's jewel, and Alexia's jewel. Now it's gonna be a lot harder than it looks because you know, obviously, um, you know, Alexia is still alive. But I mean, Alfred is pretty much dead, and so is Nosferatu. But we don't know where they are yet because we've never really come here. Um, the first thing we need to do is go in here because uh, see, look, it's kind of funny how this all froze over. Yeah, we need this valve though, so it's kind of important that we get it. Hello. Uh, sure, I'll take it, whatever. Hmm. 
Apparently these zombies are like super mutants or something, I don't even freaking know. And they can break through feats of ice with no problem. But their muscles are deteriorating, their skin is deteriorating, whatever. I'm not gonna fucking complain. It's, I don't even... What? Whatever. It's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Alright, let's go over here. Remember that case? The case that was, um, with the zombie that was like, in the shotgun shells? I want that. Now that it's open. Oh god, there's two of them. Boom. Oh, there's three of them. Double KO. Did I do it? Nope. Alright, it's fine. Whatever. Let me get this. I believe you can't open that without a lockpick. Um, so we kind of need to wait on that, but that's fine. Peace out, bro. I want, I don't even know what's in there. I think it's Magnum Bullets? I think. I'm not sure, but look at it. You can go over here now. Look at it. Wee! New areas. That's Chris. Yay. Yeah, you couldn't get over here as Claire, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, he's here, and this is the only forced encounter hunter fight. Just get your pistols ready, and just fire away. There we go. All dead. Yes, yeah, so he'll come back eventually later on, so don't worry about it. Like, see, like, there's a secret there. I think when you fight a secret, they go away forever, I think. See, so if you really want to, you can just get out of the way right now. Okay. There's a bunch of stuff you can do in, in any order in this place. Uh, you can get the dragonfly wings, which you need. Um, ignore that. <laughs> you can get a bunch of stuff. Like, there's a bunch of stuff you can do in any order you want. I'm gonna wait to do it all in the last, like, at the end. A lot of zombies here, by the way, so just get your shotgun and aim up. What the hell? How did I not hit him, dude? This is stupid. Am I out of ammo? Yeah. Dude, I can't hit them at all. It's impossible. Is this a green herb? No. Whatever. Um, I think there's more zombies right here. Yes. Double KO. Oh, never mind. Whatever. I think these are two green herbs, I'm pretty sure. Green herb. Please? Thank you. Okay, good. Alright. Boomy. Oh, boomstick. Let me go. Yeah. Alright. First thing is first, we have to restore the power here. Which... I don't think we can do right now. Because we go in here, it's like a power room, which is also... This is like... Hold on, what is this? Is this square or is this octagon? Is this octagon? It's octagon, okay, good. What? What are you talking about? I can totally use this now. There we go. Yay! So now we have the power on, or now we have the option to turn the power on, we can do so. Did we have this exact same lever? It looks like it's kind of just copy and paste it on, doesn't it? Kind of funny. There's a bunch of hanging ammo right here and a bunch of herbs too. So I'll take them. Alright. You know what? I'm actually going to call it an episode right now because I'm running out of time. I don't want these episodes to be too long, like I said before, which apparently I can't even follow my own rules. <sighs> Pretty bad at it, I'm not going to lie. Alright. I'm going to collect these herbs, mix them, do whatever off screen. So I'll see you guys in the next episode where we take on more Antarctic base as Chris, alright? See you guys then.